In 2007, Congress mandated doubling the amount of renewable fuels being sold at the pump by 2022. Refiners are required to start increasing ethanol into the fuel they sell each year to reach that goal. So some retailers are introducing fuel that contains 15% alcohol, called E15. But some organizations and car makers are warning the use of E15 could damage the vehicles of unsuspecting drivers. For about two months, on Q gasoline outlets experimented with selling E15 gasoline at a few of its locations in Oklahoma City. E15, a blend of 15% alcohol and 85% gasoline, was approved for sale by the EPA this summer. OnQ was the only retailer offering E15 in the state, but this week it suspended the sale of the new fuel. We added an 89 octane clear product back into our mix and eliminated the, the E15 product. OnQ CEO Jim Griffith says the reason they quit selling E15 was a matter of dollar and cents. It was never a fuel that I used, and apparently none of my customers ever used it either because we didn't sell any of it. Chuck May is spokesman for AAA in Oklahoma. We surveyed uh, our members across the country. 95% of them had no knowledge of E15, didn't know what it was, didn't know it might be coming, hadn't heard about the EPA decision allowing E15 to be sold in this country. Even though E15 is no longer being sold in Oklahoma, May says it is being sold in Midwestern states, like Kansas, Nebraska, and Iowa. He says drivers traveling there need to beware. May says some studies have shown E15 damaged 25% of vehicles tested, while other studies have shown no damage. We're asking the EPA to suspend sales of E15 until we find conclusive evidence that it's okay. AAA isn't the only organization that has appealed to the EPA. There was a group of car makers, among them General Motors, who went to the EPA and asked that the E15 standard be delayed until more testing could be done because they, they felt that the fuel would harm many of their vehicles. Uh, that request was denied. Oklahoma Corporation Commission spokesman Matt Skinner says pumps that do sell E15 should be properly marked with this label required by the EPA. It says E15 should be used in 2001 models and newer passenger vehicles or flex fuel vehicles. The label warns against using E15 in other vehicles, boats, or gasoline-powered equipment. And while the EPA says it's okay to use E15 in 2001 and newer vehicles, many car manufacturers disagree. It's very important that consumers understand that it is not approved for 2001 and newer vehicles by car makers, by all car makers. That approval that the sticker states is only from the EPA. So they need to check their manual and see what fuel is recommended for their vehicle. GM has already said anything uh, made before 2012, it voids the warranty, no matter what that sticker says. Some big gas retailers like Quick Trip say they will not sell E15 because of consumer confusion over the product. A Quick Trip spokesman says the company doesn't want to be exposed to litigation if someone mistakenly puts E15 in a car with a warranty prohibiting the use of the fuel. May says less than 5% of cars can use E15 with no problem. They're the Porsches 2001 and newer, they're 2012 GM products and newer, and 2013 Fords and newer. Those are the only vehicles that the manufacturer says can handle E15 with no long-term bad effects. You don't want to make the mistake of putting E15 in your car that is only designed for E10, or you're going to be out a lot of money, talking thousands of dollars to repair it. Paul Dean has owned this Conoco station at May and Hefner Road in Oklahoma City for 38 years. He only offers 100% gasoline. Dean doesn't even sell the E10 blended fuel other retailers offer because he has seen the corrosive damage it has caused some vehicles. What kind of damage have you seen? Uh, a lot of fuel pumps, uh, a lot of uh, uh, your fuel cinders, which are located inside the gas tank. The fuel pumps are inside the gas tank. And you see damage uh, to the wiring, the electrical part of it. Because there are so many choices, AAA advises people to do some research about the best fuel to use in their vehicles. And with a congressional mandate for refiners to use increasing amounts of ethanol every year, the confusion among drivers could mount.